Welcome to another video by Galactic Collector, where today we're going to have some fun with stickers. We're going to show you how to remove them and how to reapply them. So we're working on a Y-Wing uh, cockpit today, and really the key ingredient to removing a sticker is lighter fluid. Well, lighter fluid and patience. Uh, you, basically, you apply it on here, and there's a chemical in here, I believe it's called naphthalene, that will actually dissolve the adhesive without actually hurting the sticker itself. Now you got to be patient here. You want to let it just sit on here for 20 to 60 seconds. And sometimes it's going to take multiple applications. Now I'm using a dental tool here, this little dental pick. It works great for prying underneath stickers and even stubborn stickers. It can really work well to pry them up from the plastic. Now my goal here is to reuse the sticker, so I don't want to damage them. Um, if you get to a spot when you're pulling the sticker off where it just won't budge, back off, reapply some lighter fluid, and let it sit. Go work on a, another part. With different types of plastics, you get different levels of adhesion. And you even get different levels of adhesion um, based on the conditions the uh, toy has sat in for its lifetime. So if it's been sitting in the sun, I find, I don't know if it's something about it baking in there, if it's a temperature thing or, or some type of chemical change that happens, but sometimes the adhesive actually crystallizes and is next to impossible to remove. This one is, is coming off pretty easily. Uh, it is being a little bit stubborn here, and you don't want to force it um, because you can damage the sticker pretty easily. And like I said, my goal is to definitely try to reuse these. You can see these stickers were applied upside down. Normally, I, if I don't have to remove a sticker, I won't uh, because you risk a chance of, of ruining it every time uh, you do take it off or you try to take one off. Now I've switched over to some tweezers here and I'm just pulling very gently and up to the point where basically it starts fighting me. And then I'm, I'm going to back off and again wait and, and hopefully the, the adhesive will dissolve a little more. Now this is a great example to show you because they can be stubborn. Now I'm not a fan of reproduction stickers. A lot of times people will just want to restore a, a a given vehicle or whatnot and they'll just throw it in water and let that break the adhesive down, break the stickers down. Um, I, I really don't like putting reproduction stickers on. If I need to, I'll put custom stickers on so they're something a little different and it's obviously not the original. Uh, but a lot of times you can save these old stickers. Um, so it does take some patience and, and really it's just a matter, you can see I'm going to go back and forth here and keep wedging away. Uh, with some really stubborn stickers, I do have a scalpel as well. I didn't need to break it out for this particular one, uh, but a scalpel is a great tool for getting under there as well. Now on the canopy itself here, you see the adhesion is <laughs> so much easier to remove on this one. It just uh, really sat there for a little bit and peeled right off. So now we did have on the seat some uh, adhesive really got stuck on there. So I basically let some lighter fluid sit on here and I'm basically going to work away at that with some friction and, and the lighter fluid and this will clean up here. Now do this in a well ventilated area. The fumes on this from this lighter fluid can can get you pretty loopy after a while. So you're gonna, you, you do want to take some precautions or do it outside if you can. And do use uh, gloves as well because this stuff will dry your fingers right out. And it, uh, it, it's not uh, too pleasant to work with for a long time. So don't be like me, put some gloves on. Gloves are cheap. But as you can see here, uh, the, this adhesive is being real sticky, but using my fingernail and the, between the lighter fluid and the paper towel, I, I'm able to get that off. Now we're going to move on to how do we put these stickers back on. Now I, there's a, a number of ways you can do it. There's lots of adhesives out there. There's spray adhesives. I just go with good old fashioned glue stick. And I, I use the purple color changing one. It was just the one that I happened to get. Your stickers will not turn this color. Uh, you just put a liberal coat on there. And what's great about this which as opposed to the original adhesive, you know, when you stuck it on originally, it was kind of there. There's so much flex to this. When you put it on, you've got some time. So if you didn't get it right in the exact spot you want it, you can actually move it around pretty easily. It, it does take a good, 
minute or so, I'd say, for this glue to really set up to where it gets difficult to move around. And what you want to do is in this time frame is you want to take a good look to make sure that nothing's peeling up from where you applied it. Um, so again, I'm putting the other part of the console on here in the right direction. And get some firm pressure on all of parts. Make sure that there's no bubbles underneath there. Make sure that the corners aren't peeling up. Um, I find that, I don't know if it's a temperature thing, but putting good pressure down with your finger and holding it for a couple of seconds will usually lock in any stubborn things, any stubborn corners, any areas that want to stick up. Uh, in, in some cases, if you have a really stubborn sticker, you may want to place it in a book for a couple of weeks with some weights on it to try to get any bubbles out of it or wrinkles out of it. But you can see here, we're, we're looking pretty good here. These are pretty well balanced. Now, since I am doing a restoration on a Y-Wing, um, you know, we covered the basics in the video up to this point. But um, So for those of you that are impatient and want to go and try to remove your stickers and reapply them, go for it here. But uh, I'm going to just take a look and show you uh, some <laughs> challenges that I've had on this other, on the rest of the craft here. So uh, again, we're going back to our, our lighter fluid. It's, um, it is the go-to. I, I know you can buy the chemical naphthalene on its on your on its own. I've seen other people using it, and it goes on like a jelly-type substance. Um, I'm not sure exactly where they've gotten that from, but this is you can go to Walmart. Um, a lot of places carry lighter fluid. It's cheap, and one bottle actually lasts a long time. Now, no, this Y-wing sticker does not go on the foot, um, and that is confusing in the directions. It's supposed to go in that little. Uh, leveled in area, the area that's uh, set in, I should say. Um, I'm going to try to get some of this residue off as well. And so we're just going to go through and let that sit. Again, 20 to 60 seconds, sometimes longer, sometimes less. Sometimes you'll see a sticker start to peel up right away. Th those are the fun ones. So again, we're going to work at it. The dental pick, again, I, it's one of my favorite tools for in restorations. You can really get in. Um, you do have to be careful with it because it is easy to puncture paper. You can scratch plastic. But the more you do this, the more you get a, a, a good handle on it. And you can, uh, it, it's not, it's not going to do too much damage. And, and as you get practice with it, it actually gets better and easier to use. Now, this sticker is being pretty stubborn on here. So the this plastic is um, very similar to the, the cockpit seat that we worked on earlier. And that sticker adhesive really grabs on there pretty well. Now what I probably should have done is I, I did have this Y-wing apart and I should have removed this front foot so I wasn't working on it within the vehicle itself. Uh, that would give me a little better leverage in here but um, I'm just going to work with it as it is here. Now one note on um, on these stickers. When you're working with them, keep an eye on the, uh, the colored parts of the sticker. Because one thing that can happen with age, with sun exposure, is it, the, actually the printed side can flake right off and it, it breaks almost like glass. So if you start pulling on a sticker and you see that start to happen, my recommendation is just to stop. Um, because it, the, you'll, you'll ruin the sticker at that point. But we can see we got this foot off, and there is a lot of residue left on here, very similar to th there was on the seat. I'm just going to reapply and let this sit here, and then uh, work on that to try to get that cleaned up. Now this front sticker, which the sticker was completely removed, this, this residue is, is pretty tough, so I'm, I'm going to let that sit there. And I'll work on this front landing gear here. Uh, again, I can't stress, do this in a well-ventilated area. Yeah, that foot pad, the residue is really tough on there. So we're going we're gonna to have to do something a little more extreme there. So before we get to that, I'm just going to clean up a couple of these other areas. I've got this one sticker. I just want to reapply it because it's not sitting down very well. Now again, I, I don't like to remove stickers if I don't have to. 
I probably remove more than I should uh, because I really like when I'm cleaning a vehicle, when I'm doing a restoration, now, now this residue, just to switch topics, clean, that, that cleaned up great. So that's a great example of when it works perfectly. Uh, that wiped off really nice. But um, this Y-Wing, it was pretty filthy. And there's lots of nooks and crannies. So I, I just really wanted to do my best to try to clean it off. So I wanted to remove more stickers than I probably should have. So I'm just going to do a, a high-speed demonstration here. This is another tool that I have, and I got this in a, um, a kit for working on cell phones and small electronics. It's basically a little pry bar, but I, I was able to use that as a chisel. It's plastic on plastic, so it didn't do any damage, and it was able to break that down uh, pretty well. So that's it. I, I hope you picked up some good tips here for how to remove stickers and how to reapply them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out GalacticCollector.com to learn more about your vintage Star Wars action figures. Thanks for watching.